Chemotherapy and surgery could actually be a thing of the past for some forms of cancer. Sounds too good to be true? A Utah company has new technology that kills tumors by simply turning up the heat. It's only on four. ABC 4's Barb Smith shows us how it's being done. Karen and Robert, Salt Lake's BSD Medical has harnessed the energy of microwaves as the latest tool against soft tissue cancers, and it's already saving lives. I thank God every day for giving me, you know, another day. Pamela battled ovarian cancer in 1999. It came back twice in other areas of her pelvis. Both times she fought it off with chemo and surgery. The surgery is very invasive, and then trying to recover from that and then go straight into chemo. Yeah, it's one of the hardest things you can ask your body to do. So when another tumor appeared, this time in her liver, it was devastating. I said, I cannot do that again. Pamela didn't have to. This is the Microtherm X breakthrough cancer-fighting technology developed right here in Utah. It's a microwave for tumors. When you use microwave, it's like a microwave oven. From the first second you turn it on, the entire oven is hot. Pamela became one of the first six patients treated for cancer using the new machine last September, shortly after it was approved by the FDA. I thought that was exciting and new, and um, I was all for it. Dr. James Carlisle, an interventional oncologist, is using one of two BSD systems in Utah. The machine operates at a frequency a third of the one in your kitchen. Its energy is targeted at tumors using small antennas inserted with catheters. The needles just coming in there. Doctors set parameters so only cancerous cells are targeted and view their progress with a CAT scan. Temperatures are turned up to about 120 degrees and in about 10 minutes, the tumor is gone. The tumor really is being subjected to very high levels of heat and it cooks. And while it may sound painful, both doctor and patient say it's not. Zero. I had absolutely no pain from that procedure. When we're done, um, the patient is covered with a Band-Aid. There are no incisions. Um, there are no big dressings. Um, people will get up and walk and ambulate and go home within hours. He says there's no need to surgically remove the tumor because it's either absorbed by the body or becomes simple scar tissue. Just a little Band-Aid and keep it dry for a couple days and... Good to go. Pamela says had she gone through with the surgery and chemotherapy, she would still be in the recovery phase. She's once again cancer free. The Microthermex is being used to treat small tumors in the lung, breast, and pelvis. And Dr. Carlisle says it's not a replacement for traditional cancer treatments, but is a new option. BSD also makes thermal treatments that use radio waves to enhance chemo and radiation therapy. And while some people still consider this very new technology and a little experimental, all the experiments so far, if you want to call them that, have been highly effective. It just goes to show sometimes the, the best solutions are the simplest, right? And right from Utah. Phenomenal, yeah, made in Utah. Great story, Barb, thank you. Thanks, Robert. Mm -hmm.